Hi, I'm Robin Schneider, and this is my Three Minutes Max. We are going to do some digital weaving. So we're going to start with a file that is super tiny, two pixels by two pixels, a resolution of 100, and super important, the background contents must be transparent. We'll click Create, and we'll zoom in. All right, there it is, the tiniest file ever. I'm going to grab my pencil, set to one pixel, and we're going to go click, click, and define that as a pattern. And this is our basic weave pattern. Let's make another one, File New. We're gonna make this one twice the size, four pixels by four pixels at 100 with a transparent background. Create and zoom all the way in. And this time a twill pattern. Click, click, down, over, down, over, down, over. And we'll define that as a pattern. And this one is our twill. It doesn't matter what color you make these in as long as the background is transparent. We're gonna make one more file. This time, 400 pixels. Oh, I hate when that keeps opening. By 400 pixels, the background contents don't matter because we're going to fill them anyway. So let's fill them. Alt Backspace or Option Delete. Going to use my rectangle marquee to go ahead and create some stripes here. Let's go in and fill them. Alt Backspace. Oops, let's do that. Alt Backspace or Option Delete. Let's grab some more colors. Let's make this bright and pretty. Whoops, we'll do maybe something hot like that, alt backspace. I think that'll work. All right, let's do some weaving. I'm gonna go to the layers panel and duplicate this layer, and then we're gonna rotate it. So control or command T, rotate 90 degrees clockwise. And now we've got our two different weave layers. Let's go into the, back the bottom layer. We're gonna click on the black and white cookie, add a pattern, and the pattern we're gonna add is the basic twill that we made. All right, now for the weaving. We're gonna clip the top layer into this twill pattern. Hold your Alt or your Option key and make a clipping mask. And now you can see we actually have a woven plaid. So let's make a pattern out of that. But what if you didn't want a basic weave? What if you wanted something fancier like a twill? Well, we'll double click on the pattern thumbnail. We'll open it up and we'll select the twill pattern instead. And there you have it, a weave with a twill. Let's add that to our patterns. So let's lay out our patterns and see what we've got. I'll grab the rectangle marquee. We'll make a box. Let's fill it from the black and white cookie with our newest twill pattern. Uh, whoops, right here. Open that up. And there it is, a lovely cotton plaid. But I wanted flannel, so let's make it flannel. Filter, noise, add noise. And we're going to convert to a smart object so we can do this. We're going to add a 10 point monochromatic uniform fill. Click OK, and we've got flannel plaid. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.